the Supreme Understanding, Supreme UTV, Hustling Wind Movement, Rap Racing Revolution coming out April 2009. We're driving through the east side right now, headed to Decatur. If you don't know what that is, you know, just, just do a little Google search. And while you're Googling, man, you might want to find out about today's topic, which is uh, the chimpanzee, the monkey. The monkey that attacked the lady. Uh, I don't even know the lady name. But that's the news, right? It's news because the monkey's been on TV and commercials and, uh, you know, got all kinds of paid spots that he's been doing 10 years, you know, 10 years in the, in, in the show business, right? And and the monkey apparently could uh, use a toilet himself, take his own baths, feed himself. I mean, you know, real, real smart chimpanzee apparently. And the lady had him for like 10 years. And apparently he just snapped and, and went ape shit on her, literally, you know, and fucked her ass up, ripped her face off. I mean, now that's some shit, you know, that's like about as bad as Shirt Knight just got his ass whooped. I mean, the motherfucking lady got her face ripped off. And, uh, you know, this lady, you know, she been taking care of him, treating him damn near like, I don't know if she's treating him like a pet or a boyfriend for the past 10 years. And so everybody want to figure out what the hell went wrong with the monkey. Now there's one theory, right, which is the one they got in the news, where they saying um, that the lady had gotten a new haircut and uh, she had put the little teddy bear up in front of her face and basically like freaked the monkey out with some unfamiliar shit. The monkey didn't know what was going on. The monkey didn't know who the lady was, and so he just he just went off on her, like on some like I don't know you and I'm about to g-check you. Um, I mean, and the monkey really, like, I mean, this is a gangsta-ass monkey. He done whooped the lady ass, started whooping on a friend's ass, the one that was calling the police. While she was calling the police, she went and got the knife. Or, I mean, she might, might have been whooping on, I don't know. I don't really know who it was. I know it was two white ladies. Of course you know it was white ladies. Who else could it be but some white ladies? Or white people. Who else have monkeys as pets and friends besides Michael Jackson, of course? But, you know, that's, I mean, shit, white lady, right? Um... Anyway, did I miss my exit? Anyway, the lady got a knife, stabbed the monkey. The monkey kept on going. He was like, I mean, you know, like a tweaker or something. Like he just wasn't, he just wasn't backing down. Then she beat him over the head with a shovel. That ain't phase him either. All right, let me get over. Oh, let me have it. Let me have it. All right. Uh, let me have this one too. Let me have this one. Ah. Uh, okay. So. The monkey got beat with the shovel, stabbed, and it didn't even face him, you know. Then the monkey, after he didn't rip the lady face off, beat the shit out of him, the police are called, the police are on their way. The monkey run up on the police car and open up the police officer door. He about to beat the shit out of the police officer and take the police car and be out. So the police officer finally just, just shoot him like several times, just let him have it, and you know, then the monkey's dead, right? So now that's all big news, plus, you know, they try to make the monkey out to be Obama in the New York Post, of course, but you know, what else do you expect? You know, black people, monkeys, they've been waiting to call Obama monkey for the longest, and now they get took their little opportunity, because it wasn't a monkey in the news for the longest, so now that they had a monkey in the news, they found a way to put him with Obama, of course, you know, but they've been calling black people monkeys forever, so I don't know why anybody's surprised, what, you thought racism was over because they elected him? Anyway, the other theory, besides the fact that the monkey got freaked out because of the new haircut, was maybe it was the fact that they had put some Xanax in the monkey's teeth. The lady is putting Xanax in the monkey's teeth. Now, they like, why is he taking some prescription drugs that's meant for some humans? Look, they treating the monkey like he a human. The lady was sipping wine with the monkey out of a long stem glass. The monkey be dri drinking wine with the lady. You know, this ain't no ordinary type pet relationship. This ain't no zoo type relationship. The monkey is dr sitting drinking wine with the lady, eating food. The monkey eat, look in the, the article, the monkey eat, uh, uh, lobster and steak and ice cream and yeah for real so did the xanax do it i don't know you know did was he bipolar what what happened i got another theory oh wait there's one more theory there's one more theory a lot of folks had this theory well folks that came with me that um you know that the lady had something going on with the monkey and uh the monkey got jealous because of the other lady you know, so like it was some real sick sex love triangle, you know, with some bestiality thrown in for extra spice. While I would normally uh, uh, say that that is a very strong possibility because, you know, 
I was watching Discovery Channel, and they did have a story where, you know, this the white lady had a relationship with a chimp, and they was getting it on, and, you know, it was some, it was some monkey love going on. Um, and you know from, from, from the internet, you know, because I, I get them emails too, that uh, they do be getting down with, with animals. And I, not us, I mean them. And, uh, you know, horses. I don't know how you, how you do with a horse. Did you see that video? I mean, that's just too much. I mean, not that video. It's a whole slew of them. It's like thousands of them. Horses, dogs, donkeys. Even elephant, an elephant. Uh, well, the trunk. I don't. I don't think you can do anything with with the other thing. I mean, they was doing something with the trunk though. It's just it's, it's sick, man. It, it go back to you know it go back to caveman days. You know that's a long story though. That's another story we can't tell right now. You know what though? I don't think it was that. This is my theory. My theory is the monkey finally figured out who he was. Monkey finally got knowledge itself. He finally realized I'm a wild motherfucking animal. I'm a fucking monkey. You know, for 10 years, he had forgotten who he was, and he was all right with being a motherfucking pet. Ah, I missed my turn. He was all right with being a motherfucking pet. He was all right with eating Cheerios out the bowl for the commercial, and smiling, and shucking and jiving, and oh, don't this sound familiar now? You get where I'm going with this now? So he was shucking and jiving, kissing ass, looking stupid, making a fool of himself, and generally just embarrassing his own kind for the amusement of people. And in one day, I think the motherfucker just snapped into his senses and just said, hold the fuck up. I'm a motherfucking jungle animal. And this motherfucker right here is not kin to me. And he might have really just figured out you've been exploiting the shit out of me for 10 years. Oh, I'm about to let you have it. <laughs> and, and he just returned to being a motherfucking monkey. And, you know, as soon as he did that, they killed him. And if, if you get where I'm going with this, good for you. If you don't, homie, we the monkey. And we just now starting to wake up. And these motherfuckers are scared. So, maybe they not being that offensive when they, when they talk they shit about Obama and when they talk they shit. You know what I mean? Because maybe when they show the police in that New York Post uh, cartoon... Where the police is shooting the monkey. If you really look at it, man, it's almost like how they be showing when police be shooting the motherfucking one of, like one of us. So, hey, the game might not really be as twisted as we think. Really, like, the game be showing itself to us in little ways, like, little subtle ways. You know, when I think about this monkey, I see the game. I see how it works, because if you really think about it, we ain't been exploited 10 years. It's been, it ain't even 400 years. If you know your history, it's been thousands where they've been just doing bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And a lot of us been shucking and jiving for a long motherfucking time before we finally wake up. Look at this motherfucker Eddie Griffin. Just look at Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin was a fucking, I mean, I hate to say it, man, but the motherfucker was cooning himself forever until he finally realized, hold the fuck up. That's when he started coming with, with that with that cautious shit. That's when he started coming with that politically aware shit. On the left. And now you know they ain't trying to have nothing to do with him. And that's how the game go. You know? I mean, so pretty much, man, it's like you either know who you are or you don't. But once you know, man, you have a what you gonna do? Peace.